heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man. So I'm back with another heavyweight classic review. All right, let's go to 1997. Man, I remember this fight all too well, man. This, uh, the second fight and the first fight. I was a huge, huge Tyson fan, man, growing up. Um, took me a while to get over this loss. And some of you big Tyson fans, if you're like me coming up, you know what I mean about your guy losing. Then you got to go to school the following Monday. Well, at least the first fight was during the school year. The second fight was during the summer break. So I didn't have to go to school. But um, wow, man, I haven't watched this fight in a while. I'm going to just go round by round. And give my review to this fight. Um, but this was the night, man, where Evander Holyfield, where he, where I started to respect him. Now, some of you may say, hey, what do you mean? Evander was an undisputed cruiserweight champion. He uh, had a shootout, impressive knockout over Dokes. He beat uh, Riddick Bow. He came back and beat Riddick Bow the second time. He's a warrior. What do you mean you didn't respect him? Beat Ray Mercer. It wasn't, it's just that I was a huge Tyson fan, man. I was damn near in my fanboy phase back then, and I just didn't like any of his opponents. Even if they were great fighters, I just did not like them, and I hated Evander Holyfield, man. Man, I hated Holyfield. I actually made a video on my channel before about uh, fighters I hated growing up. And when I say hate, just because I was such a fan of one fighter, I did not like his rival. It's just like being... A basketball college basketball fan or football fan pro or college you don't like the rival you know what i mean and i just did not like if you're a dallas cowboy fan you don't like the fucking redskins you know what i mean uh giants fans don't like eagles fans you know what i mean so it was like that so oh boy let's just go through it but uh we know holyfield sparked the the um the upset in the first fight and it was a classic, man. I'm a, I'm going to review that fight. I'm going to get to that fight. And that fight was a classic fight. Uh, the second time around, Mike came in shape. He looked fast and furious. Um, they built this one. What did, what did they build this fight? Uh, I think it was called uh, The Sound and the Fury. The first one was called Finally. So Mike was in great shape coming into this fight. Um, I know during the weigh-in, I remember seeing the weigh-in. And, I, and Mike was, you know, trying to stare Evander down, trying to give him the look. But Evander was not intimidated to Mike Tyson. And that went all the way back to when they were amateurs. Uh, I remember reading Holyfield's uh, autobiography, Becoming Holyfield. And he, he was saying in that book that back in the amateurs, a lot of guys would be intimidated to Mike when they'd be at tournaments. <clears throat> and they would be playing pool and uh, stuff like that. And Mike would, you know, take people's turns or whatever, to, you know. Mike would kind of bully guys sometimes, and Holyfield was the guy that he didn't try to bully. He couldn't bully. Um, going back to their amateur days, but let's get to this rematch, man. Let me turn the fight on. I haven't watched this in a while, man. Mike's in the corner, bouncing up and down. And we know it's the bite fight, so I'm not going to make it seem like that I, you know, like that's going to be surprising or anything. But uh, Mike's coming out trying to use his jab. Holyfield's keeping his distance. He just, Mike's bobbing and weaving. As soon as they get in close, Holyfield ducks that head down. Man, I thought he was headbutting Mike a lot, man. But uh, he's ducked that head down, pushing Mike back, got him up off of him, using a jab. Mike still can't find a way inside. He's bobbing and weaving, but he's on the outside doing it. <clears throat> Holyfield using the jab, put up the, Mike tried to land a, a hook. And then as soon as they get inside, Holyfield is wrapping Mike's left arm up so Mike can't get no inside hooks off. That left hook he likes to throw on the inside, the left hook followed by the uppercut. Couldn't do it. Holyfield wrapping him up. Mills Lane broke him. They wrap up again. Holyfield is just, he's tying up Mike's left arm. He is not letting him get any right hooks on the inside. Mike's trying to bob and weave his way in, but Holyfield's meeting him with, with a jab and then he's clinching him right away. Holyfield with the one, two jab, right hand, push Mike off. Mike, right hand, miss. Mike, instead of getting in Holyfield's chest, Mike was standing kind of straight up. Holyfield's about six, two and a half. Mike's about, what, about 5'11". And Mike's standing up. Holyfield's bending his head down. He got his head down, bending it towards Mike. And Mike will just stand, right now he's standing straight up. Mike should have tried to get under Holyfield's chin. You know what I mean? They're wrapping up. Clinching. 
Mills Lane breaks him. Holyfield takes center of the ring. Mike is one shot at a time, man. It's not working. He's trying to throw hooks. Ooh, good, good exchange. Holyfield got Mike against the ropes. Measuring him with the jab. Ooh, good right hand by Holyfield. Good uppercut to the body for Holyfield. They wrapping up on the inside. Mike's not doing anything. Holyfield is wrapping that left arm up. He is not. Holyfield actually sparred with David too. I'm not sure if it's the first fight or the second fight. But he actually sparred. That footage is on YouTube. Type in, go to the YouTube search box. Type in Holyfield, David Tua sparring. And it pops up. So Holyfield had good sparring for this. Uh... Ooh, he's rocking Mike. Good left hook. Good right hook. Mike against Strowman. Ooh, another hook by Holyfield. Mike's coming back with punches. They're not just having no effect, man. Holyfield is rocking Mike. Push Mike off. Yeah, just round one, you knew this was not going to be a good night for Mike, man. Holyfield just had his number. Ooh, good, good jab by Holyfield. Keeping Mike off balance. And as soon as they get close, Mike isn't throwing. He's just susceptible to just clinching. And Mike used to do this early in his career. He worked on the inside. Don't get me wrong. Mike was a dominant dynamite uh fighter on the inside but sometimes he would just hold if you want the clinch he'll clinch right with you yeah staring each other down in and around definitely a holy field round man just backing mike up and if you ask somebody you say hey who's the harder punch between tyson and holy field a lot of people say mike tyson you know the ko percentage the highlight reel the knockouts but sometimes when guys get in there the guy that is viewed as the lesser puncher of the two actually will have the advantage for punching power when they fight each other in the ring you know what i mean that the night of the fight so it's always tricky with punching power man and i don't know you know holyfield had good power in my opinion man you know what i mean he was able to uh knock down ray mercer that's at that time that was a great feat i think mercer what mercer only got stopped one time in his career was it to one of the klitschko's somebody correct me if i'm wrong Yeah, Mike's trying to crouch. Ooh, good. He's trying to crouch down, but he's running right into hooks. Holyfield is switching levels on Mike. Mike goes down a level. Holyfield goes down right with him. Mike came out kind of fast. They're clinching again. Now, Holy, now Mike looks like he's more clinching Holyfield. He has his arm on the outside of Holyfield's arm that time. Mike needs to double and triple up the jab, man. He's just trying to do one jab and come in. He's bobbing and weaving. But he's bobbing and weaving, standing right in front of Holyfield. Holyfield's trying to time him. Holyfield's bobbing him. While Mike is bobbing and weaving, Holyfield is kind of fainting at him too. So it's kind of throwing Mike off. Now Holyfield is looking at the ref. He's looking at Mills Lane. He got cut with a headbutt. He's looking at Mills Lane. And right when I seen Mike doing that, Holyfield kept punching. While Mike was complaining to Mills Lane, <laughs> Holyfield keeps punching. Mike has a cut over the right eye. And that seemed like it took the fight out of Mike a little bit. All the way came out charging with another left hook. But it's just one hard shot, then he clinches. One hard shot, then he clinches. Holyfield's wrapping him up, walking him backwards, taking the steam out of Mike, taking the confidence away. Whenever you wrap up with Mike, do not let him walk you backwards, man. You walk him backwards. Or you push him off, a la George Foreman. Holyfield keeping his distance. When they get in close, he's wrapping Mike up, being rough. Good hook to the body. Mike's complaining to Mills Lane while they're clinching. <clears throat> while he's complaining and looking at the ref, Holyfield's punching. He got Mike against the ropes. All right, Mills Lane broke him up. Mike threw a nice little uh, left hook, right hook combination. Kind of missed. These left hooks are coming up short. Good lead right by Mike. Ooh, good body shot by Holyfield. <clears throat> Holyfield's digging good body shots, man. Holyfield's strong, man. Strong dude. Mike's one shot at a time. And right, he's standing straight up. He's right there to get hit with right hands. He's coming straight up, man. He'll like bob weave and then throw a hard hook, and then that's it. He'll either fall into he was either falling in to get clinched. Or he's getting just hit with right hands. Ooh, now Mike likes trying to break Holyfield's arm. Mike's getting frustrated. Holyfield had his left arm. And Mike 
put his arm, he put his right arm around Holyfield's left arm and he's twisting it. Kind of like what he did to, <laughs> kind of like what he did to Franz Botha, man. Mike's my man though, man. He's one of my favorite fighters of all time. He's getting frustrated, man, because Holyfield just has his number. He's throwing hooks. Holyfield's doing a good job of uh, ducking under these big hooks, man. These right hands from Mike. Tyson, like he's doing the holding right there, the clinching right there. He's kind of still looking at Mills Lane to help him. Another left hook miss. Tyson, Tyson's throwing big left hooks, and he's falling into a clinch. And Holyfield's doing a great job of wrapping up his left arm on the inside. Good uh, strategic game plan by Holyfield to wrap up that left arm. Last thing you want to do, and they're staring each other down at the end of the round. In the round two, gave that to Holyfield. You know, this just picked up from the last fight, man. They're working on Mike's right eye. He's squinting and Yeah, she said, ah, ah, Mike said, ah. Get Stacy McKinley back there. Gia Ketty all in uh Tyson's corner. Yeah, Holyfield's dominating, man. Both of these guys, man, uh, Holyfield made a whopping 30, was it? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, man. I think it was 35 or 33 million. It was well over 30 million. I think it was 35 million for this rematch, and Mike made 30 million. This is back in 97, y'all. Like, oh, you know, that's crazy, man. 35 million and then 30 million a piece, you know, not combined. Holyfield made 35, Mike made 30. I know Mike got fined 10% of his purse after this fight. So was that thir uh, 3 million for the uh, ear by? Okay, third round. Mike's coming out. Good hooks, good hook to the body. Good right hand on Holyfield. He missed the left hook. Tyson got Holyfield against the ropes. And Holyfield just nullified all that by just grabbing. Then he stepped back through a good hook. Now he got Tyson against the ropes. <clears throat> good right hand by Holyfield they clinch again Mike's looking at Mills Lane Holyfield trying to wait Mike out now they're on the inside Mike has his right arm around Holyfield's left arm Mills Lane breaks him Holyfield's probing with the jab. Ooh, Holyfield just missed the left hook. They're grabbing on the inside again. They're clinching. Mike's not working on the inside. He's not working the body. He's not doing anything. Mike, ooh, good hook by Mike. Left hook, but Holyfield kind of caught it with his right glove. <clears throat> They're still clinching. Mike has the elbow on Holyfield's neck now. <laughs> Mills Lane's trying to break him, and Mike has his had his left forearm under Holyfield by his neck, pressing his neck. They're on the inside. Mike's trying to land some body shots. Holyfield's dropping levels, right? He's dropping levels right with Mike, and while he's doing that, he has his head right in Mike's face. All right, so they're back to the center of the ring. Ooh, good left hook by Mike. Holyfield, granted, oh, good right hand by Mike. They're back clinching. Mike should have kept working the body, man. Holyfield just wrapped him up, walked him to the ropes. Mills Lane's trying to break him. He gets in between. He breaks him. Good jab by Mike. Wow, miss by Mike. Another left hook just missed. Uh, there go, man. There's the bite. <laughs> there's the bite. Mike was having a decent round, man. He was having a decent round. Now he goes to push Holyfield. And Holyfield's like, motherfucker, look at my ear. You bit my ear. Don't push me. You just bit my ear. Mike was having a decent round that round, man. He was starting to he started to land some left hooks, a good right hand, and he got wild again with that left hook, fell into the clinch. That's when he bit Holyfield, man. Now Mike just looked like he looking for blood. Holyfield ear is just Oh, his right ear is just. I know I'm laughing. It's not funny, man, but it's just like, wow. Like, how can Mike get this damn frustrated from them headbutts as he claimed after this that he was getting headbutt? The ref did nothing about it, but. And Holyfield just keeping his composure. A lot of guys would be like, I want to quit. I want to quit. Holyfield 
He's showing his ear to Mills Lane. Looking at the ear right now. Holyfield just composed Mike over there. Just like, man, fuck your ear. That's, that's the look he has. Mike trying to come at Holyfield. Mills Lane holding him back. Holyfield just, man, this dude. This is a fucking warrior right here, man. Usually guys would have been like, I'm done. He bit my ear. The, you know, everybody, the whole world can see that he just bit my ear. This is over with. First they were saying stop. And now Mills Lane's checking with the. He just asked the doc, can he go on? Holyfield said, yeah, Holyfield's ready to go, man. He kind of shaking his head like, this motherfucker bit me, but he, you know, he's not trying to quit. He's not trying to get his gloves cut off or anything. He's not trying to get out the ring and say, hey, I won by DQ. It, you know, and I, I wonder, man, if Mike was like, shit, this ain't enough to get me DQ'd, you know, after he bit him, because obviously Mike didn't want to be there once he bit him. So... And you can call it anger and he just got pissed off. That's fine, too. But you know when you do that, usually, although I did see Galata bite a dude. Who was the dude that he bit, man? <laughs> Andrew Galata bit somebody, too, around this time. But Holyfield saying prayers to, to himself in the corner as he comes out. He's ready to fight again. That's crazy. Holyfield ready to fight again. All right. They resume action. Holyfield comes out. He's jabbing. Mike throws a one-two, he misses. Holyfield gets in. Holyfield landed two quick combinations to push Mike off real quick. Like, uh-uh, you about to hit me. Now Mike's coming back, landing some more. He just went after his ear again after a good combination he threw. Bit him again. Holyfield jumped up, said, the hell with that, came for said, come on. Holyfield's right there fighting with him, man. Jab, Holyfield. As soon as they get close, you can see Holyfield trying to throw Mike off. Like, uh-uh, get the hell up off me. Mike missed the right hand. Holyfield in, you know, in and around. Holyfield's like, hey, you bit my other ear now. Crazy. Crazy, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, Mike went savage on him, man. Wow. Wow. You know, even though this is this is old, man, it's still when you see it sometime, it's still just kind of um, for guys at this level. I know there's been times where guys have bit guys and done weird things in the ring. But at this level, though, where guys are making this much money, uh, damn, Mike just bit his shit off. But uh, guys are making this type of money view at this level. You know, you really don't see stuff like this. Now, this one, they're going to end it right here, man. Everybody's coming in the ring. Mike looking like he ready. Mike look like he ready to uh, bite, scratch, kick, elbow, knee. Looks like he wants nothing to do with a boxing match. But see, but that's the thing. Now Mike wants to show all, all this rage and all this venom and all this. It's like, but Mike, man, why didn't you show this during round one, two, three? You know, why didn't you show this when you had the chance to show this? Uh, well, I guess he did, right, by biting him. But I'm talking about under the rules though you know what i mean yeah man this night is unforgettable right here man i remember this one clear as day man um haven't watched it in a while it's been some years years since i actually sat down and watched the full fight man probably a good shit i don't know man 10 years probably it's been a while 10 12 years since i watched this fight in full Kind of tough for me watching Mike's losses, man, because I was a huge Tyson fan, man. So when he would lose fights, like the Douglas fight, I haven't watched that shit, man. Years. It's been years since I watched it in its totality. Like, watched the actual full fight. Long has been a long time. Yeah, Mike landed the right hand to the body, the left hook. And then he just, uh, it was a, <laughs> it was a right hand, left hook, bite combination. Damn. Holyfield got pissed. He jumped up in there, stomped his foot, and came back forward to fight. That's when I had to respect Evander, man, because it was like, damn, after getting bit like this, and he wanted to come back and fight. And I think Holyfield would have kept fighting. Had they said, all right, you know, I didn't see that one. Let's just keep going. I think Holyfield would have just kept going. Memorable, memorable fight, man. You guys will be thinking in the comment section. I'm out.